Well, hello everybody. It's been a long time and um, so I had a little bit of spare time today so I want to do a quick project with you. We have this awesome chalk made kit um, that was in the last um, the last catalog but you know you guys can actually do this with I mean we can make up kits for you or you can check out the new catalog see what kits are out there. But I wanted to show you the some of the things that Chocotour is coming out with um, this is a really cool kit. So the only thing it didn't come with for me as a designer is uh, the actual greenery here. I don't know if you can see that in the picture, um, but I do have that and we'll add that in another time. So I just wanted to show you everything that it has. So we have our directions, we have our transfer, an awesome squeegee, our paste. We even have tape and a brush and some trays here and then the ribbon so that we can make our bow on top. Now, we may or may not do the greenery. We'll see how it, it goes. Um, I'm actually going to make this for my sister. And so I have another um, transfer here that I'm going to add to add some texture to this project. Um, I'll show you in just a minute. It's kind of... It's kind of... Um, it's cute, but you know what? This actual project... If you check out on the bottom here, I don't know, I feel like I need some texture or something kind of in the top and the bottom. I may not even need that greenery. Um, so, but what you can see here is Chocotour does this great job of just kind of spelling out the directions for us and even telling us how to wash everything with soap and water. Um, but, so this is really nice directions. Um, of course, I'm not gonna use those, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it because that's what we do, right? We just wing it around here. <laughs> Um, or at least I do, you guys, if you've followed me at all, you know that I just wing it. Um, and I think that's reality. You know, I think when we do projects, um, not many of us have, you know, we have plans and stuff and then we turn around and kind of just go for it, or at least I do. So check out this brush, this is a really nice brush. Um, I don't know if some of you guys, if you've been following me for a long time, you know that um, I, in the past I've been a painter and I have graphic design background, but um, I like to do, not really a realism painter, I'm more of an abstract painter. And so I, every time I get some good brushes, that's exciting for me. I'm gonna take off this plastic, put it to the side, check out what we got here. So, I mean, so basic, very clean. I love this, that's hello. And they've already hit, um, actually put the hole in there for us, which awesome thank you chalk couture um so yay i love it when they do that so here's our tape they actually have some great um kind of like a painter's tape that's available in the catalog i don't buy it that often because like i said i have a background in painting so i always usually have um painter's tape lying around now if you're hearing some noises in the background i am wearing my oxygen machine um if you're new to me i am a ovarian cancer patient and I'm still on oxygen for a little while but that's going to be going away soon so we'll we won't have to worry about that noise after a bit so I don't know if you can check that out and if you can see that it's got little notches and lines measuring um, on the tape so that's really cool um, I really like that a lot it really helps when you're kind of setting up your project but I don't actually buy this that often, just not because I don't like it or anything, or that it's not expensive at all. It's just I always uh, usually have painter's tape lying around. So Chocotour has been nice enough to give us two trays, because we have two colors. We have black and white, right? And they sent us, let's see if I can open the package here. They sent us that black and white in packets. So we've got two blacks and two, two black velvet and two bright whites. So we'll take that right there. I'm gonna take my squeegee, put that to the side. So I'm loving this. This is really great. We can get nice and organized here. I'm gonna put my transfer to the side and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the plastic off of our awesome board here. Um, this is, I think this is a, oh, it's a 16. I almost said 15, I almost misquoted. 16 inch round. Um, you can get around in the catalog right now, um, but you know what, guys? You can also get it other places. I'm not gonna. Hey, the prices of Chalk Couture, if you price compare these round, these surfaces that we have in the catalog to 
some of the major um, craft store competitors. Chocotour is very competitive. Um, I'm actually quite pleased with what I see in the catalog right now. You guys, I, you know, I do buy a lot of their surfaces, but sometimes I kind of stray a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'll be honest with you guys, this stuff, like this entire kit, um, you can get something similar that right now in the catalog. It's actually smaller. It's for children. It's for like a door sign, um, double sided, and it's 40 bucks. So you get everything. You get your pay. Everything you see here, you get in that kid's kit as well. And it's actually kind of square. It's very cute. Um, so check that out in the catalog. I'll actually put the link um, to the catalog in the comment section when I post this. Now, again, if you get a kit, you're going to have your directions, but I'm actually, I'm just going to wing it. We're not going to go off our directions right now, but you know what, guys, I do suggest if you're trying this for the first time on your own, check out the directions, you know, kind of go for it there and, you know, make some changes as you go along, make it uniquely you. All right. So I can tell you right now, just by feeling this, this is definitely real wood and I'm feeling like it's probably going to need a little bit of wax. And you're probably thinking, how do you know that? I don't feel anything, on, it's very bare. I don't feel anything on this wood that would suggest it's already been waxed. Usually when you have a wax on a surface, it's kind of got that crayon fill on it. Like if you've ever taken paper off of a crayon, this does not have that. So I'm going to get my surface wax here, which you can get from the catalog. Um, I also use Minwax. For my big projects, they have wax that you can get at Lowe's. Um, but I gotta tell you guys, Chocotour's wax again, very competitive. I'm, I was impressed and, um, you know, I'm the first one to say, hey, I can find something cheaper. I won't never do that to Chocotour because that's just terrible. But I won't lie to you. Hey, I can get this, that, or the other. Um, when I do my porch boards, I get, you know, a board from Lowe's. I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, and if Chocotour comes out with a big porch board or porch leaner surface, I'd love to see what they do with that. That'd be cool. But until then, that's where I get it. Um, but this right here, you know, I've gotten some rounds from Etsy. I've gotten some from major competitors out there, like Michaels and Hobby Lobby and stuff. Like this, these rounds. and some squares and stuff like that because I am not a um I'm just I'm not my dad guys I can I'm terrible with power tools I mean I'll you know wax stuff and I'll um use a sander and trim a little bit but I gotta be honest my sister is much better at that than I am and that's because uh I'm clumsier than her and my dad knew that when we were kids so she she has way more talent when it comes to the tools than I do. So I usually lean on her or sometimes my mom. I mean, my mom has totally done a lot in, in the house as far as she did all her trim work and stuff. After my dad passed, my dad taught her a lot of stuff. Even though we've both been fired from his job sites, as he called it. Um, she learned a lot. She can do a lot of cool things. So sometimes I get some help from my mom. And, and I got to be honest, when you're going through chemo like I am, um, you don't always have energy. So you need the help. And I also rely on my friends. You know, I've got um, Debbie and Mark have some pallets in their garage right now that we're going to pro probably be using for Christmas and I'm super excited about. And... They've already gotten started on a couple of cool things I can't wait to show you guys. So, um, there's such a huge help. You know, I'm, I'm very blessed. And there's some of you probably watching right now that have been so helpful. And I, I appreciate y'all. I really do. Um, so, check this out. So, now I'm just putting my hand over it to make sure everything's blended. There's a little chunk right there. Um, but feels great. Actually feels so much better. Now, that's not in the directions. Um, why do I do that? Because, you know, I want to be able to, if I make a mistake, I want to be able to clean it up real easily. It can soak into the wood and the chalk paste can, and it won't stain really the black mite, but I wanted to wax it just in case, you know, um, so I could 
do something cool. If I mess up, I can change it, fix it. Okay, so we're actually going to start out a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna, let's check out this picture here. So what they've done in the picture is they did the black lines on the top and bottom. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this cool pattern in the top and bottom. Um, rather than the lines. And I might go ahead and do paint that white on there as they have it. Uh, we'll kind of wing it from there, but we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get our transfer here. And I actually need a fuzzy cloth. Now you don't have to have a fuzzy cloth, but these are really inexpensive, you guys. It's kind of like a towel, it's got a buffer side, and then kind of like mine's got chalk paste all over it because they use it a lot. Um, but it's got like this, um, it's, this is the side that you fuzz with, so it's kind of rough and then you have a buffer side. So this can also do double duty if you're using wax or something, you can polish with this. Um, I've used it to um, spruce up glass because I have done some etching before and kind of polished up and gotten like fingerprints off of it. This is great for that too. But what this is a brand new transfer here, this awesome pattern. Um, very different, I love it. So I just, you know, want some texture. I have a lot of different flowers and I have polka dots and um, all kinds of cool things, but I really wanted something that had a little bit of femininity to it. Um, with my sister's new place that they're decorating, the, my sister and her daughters are starting to get it together and to what they want it to be. Um, she has got her eye on some Georgia Bulldog things that are not exactly red and black, but they're um, natural wood. It looks like it's burned, like the Georgia logo and things like that. So she's kind of sticking to more of a nature, um, nature colors. So that's why we're gonna you know, add a little bit of femininity, but we're sticking to this black and white on um, on on this particular design. All right. So let's see here. I'm gonna check out my wood. And it's right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of lay it on top and tape off the center. That would be fun. I think that's gonna be great. So I'm gonna take my, actually I'll put my fuzzy cloth behind me really quick because this is a big transfer. So how we fuzz our big transfers, we're gonna roll our finger on the corner right here. Let's get the back backing sheet off. And I'm actually gonna pull it, just not stretching it. Just pull that backer sheet off up backwards so like the sticky side is up put this backer sheet to the side here and this is how we're going to fuzz this so it's because if i were to pick it up and put it on the fuzzy cloth it's going to fold on itself so i'm actually just going to take this fuzzy cloth and i'm going to put it face down now i do see a piece of sometimes when i do outdoor things they get mm, pieces of grass or you know a little bit of nature on my fuzzy cloth that can happen <laughs> and that's awesome um these are washable by the way these fuzzy cloths they're awesome like that and i have washed them probably wanted to wash them on a uh, cold cycle actually mm. i think i had it the right way before flowers I like flowers. I like, well, I don't like a lot of flower texture. I like some. Some flower texture. Oh, yes. This is nice. Alright, so our hello is going to go like right in the center. So I'm going to take my tape. See if I can find the end. I think that was the end. And I know you're thinking, wow, she is very disorganized. Um, I do that on purpose. It's not that I'm lazy. I'm because when you're doing this at home, you know what, guys? This is going to be. You know, you're going to be trying to figure it out too. So that's why I do what I do. That's why I just kind of go for it. Because you're going to be going for it. That's the way it is. All right. So I've kind of marked that where my transfer is going to be. And I'm going to actually just go on across. And 
and I'm eyeballing. Let me tell you, a lot of people that gets on their nerves, I wing it and I don't measure. And some people that drive them crazy. You can measure all, all you like. You do this any way you want to. If you want to use a, you know, I don't know, something to make sure it's level, a level or something, I guess. Do what you're going to do. You do you. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to take this is awesome tray here. It's going to be my black tray. And how you work with these paste packets, there's a little, it's actually a little Sharpie mark. Okay. All right. So you take your fingers and you work the packet like that. So when you're using the jars, so with the jars, if they get start to get a little dry, you put a little bit of distilled water in it and you stir it up, right? Um, we've done that before. You can see that in my videos. But this one is a little bit different. This is so much easier. You can now buy these in single packs. And they're, I want to say they're $3 or maybe $2. I mean, I, know, I think they're about $2. Um, but you can get single packs instead of buying the jars if you'd like. But the jars are actually really cost effective. Let's see here. I feel like it's pretty, it's smushing around there pretty good. So I'm gonna use my scissors and cut it. You, you can tear it too, but my scissors are out, so why not? All right, so let's put our paste on our tray. There we go. This looks, this paste actually looks really, really good. Perfect. All right, and so here is my, there is, you know what guys, I don't have any wipes. What in the world is the matter with me? Yikes. Now why would I do that? How silly. Okay, pause please, pause. Okay. All right. All right, so now we're back. I had to make sure I got my wipes. Now, uh, Chocotour does recommend like Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes, not baby wipes, so please don't use baby wipes on your transfer. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I do, um, which is not the right thing to do, and that's just because I have like a ton of them, so I'm trying to get rid of them. But once I get rid of these baby wipes, then I'm going back to the Clorox or Lysol wipes. So I'm gonna take my squeegee and grab some of my awesome black velvet paste and making sure my tape is down really nice and i'm just gonna fill in this awesome design I'm gonna fill it in and this is gonna dry pretty quickly so you want to kind of move a little fast because i don't want my design I want my design to stay down, not the transfer. I think if I wanted a sticker, I'd buy one, right? I say that a lot in these videos, but it's true. All right. I'm just going for it. This paste is, the texture is actually so perfect. I am thrilled. So great. All right, and I'm gonna scrape up some of the excess here. Put that aside, and we're gonna actually pull this up. Oh my goodness, it looks fabulous. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up and hold it right quick, because I don't want the white part. You know, I don't want black on this middle, because that's what I'm gonna do, the white. trying to grab my hair dryer and we're just gonna dry this up really quick and it should dry relatively fast we just want it to be dry enough so it won't come back up
almost, still a little tacky. There we go. All right. So let's make sure we do our top really quick. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm actually gonna clean off this squeegee just so I've got a clean slate here. I do love um, polka dots and stripes and things as well. So you can do flowers, you can do all kinds of great things. Chocolate Door has some really great transfers out there where you can do something uniquely your style. And um, that's what I love about it, you know? And hey, maybe I wanna change my style up. You know, I, there's plenty of, tra of boards and uh, transfers out there where you can erase and start over. You know, you can do your design for the fall, take down summer, do fall, and then do Christmas all on the same board. And we're gonna do some um, examples of that coming up as we get closer to the holiday season. And you guys, if you follow me at all, you know how much I have fun on Halloween. So we're gonna do some Halloween fun. I know a lot of you guys actually said in my survey, my VIP group, um, not really into Halloween that much. We'll just do a tad bit. Not a whole lot. We'll do some uh, Halloween and then I think I'm gonna stick with some pretty fall designs that Chocolate Door come out with that you're absolutely going to love. If you love um, fall leaves and pumpkins and things like that, um, you're gonna love what they have. So I'm pretty stoked to show it to you. All right, guys, let's check out what we've got here. Oh, that looks great. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take that off and actually stick it. I actually have my, my grandmother's table behind me that she used to roll out dumplings on. So I'm, I'm using that now in my little craft room, a little piece of my grandma in here. So she's always with me while I'm crafting. Let's try this up. I absolutely love this. I love it, love it, love it. You know what? I don't know that I want to paint this center white. I, want, I think I want to do the hello in white letters. I think I've changed my mind. I think that'll be great. I love this brush. I really would love to paint it. Um, so if you wanted to do the center and the white, you would just put your tape down. So we would put our tape down and measure it off and actually just you know paint your chalk paste right onto the board um, but we'll save this brush for a rainy day this is a really nice brush actually and we're going to get our other tray and a packet of bright white and I'm gonna just knead this packet here make sure it's nice and mixed up it's perfect I can feel that that's, that's going to be absolutely perfect. This time I'm going to cut a corner off on it. Not that I couldn't have torn it, but my scissors were out, so why not? Let's go ahead and squeeze out our bright white. Now Chocotour does have shimmers. Um, they have a shimmer frost and shimmer shadow so you can do these in shimmer colors i love shimmers they're my favorite i actually have some new shimmers to show you on the next video that are out right now that are in those beautiful fall colors that you're gonna love so um, i'm pretty stoked about it you know how i feel about the shimmers if you followed me at all you know my love for the shimmers <laughs> all right so let's see here all right, there's our hello transfer. So I'm going to take this out of the package. Whoops. And 
let's get our awesome fuzzy cloth. I'm actually gonna put my fuzzy cloth down right here on my board. I'm gonna take my fingers and roll it against the corner. That's gonna help me grab it. So if you don't have fingernails, you can just roll your finger like this. It'll help you pull that transfer right off the backing sheet. Let's put this aside. And this is smaller, so I can actually just go right on my fuzzy cloth like this. And this one's not too tacky, so I only need two times. Now, if it's extra sticky and you feel like it's really holding on to your fuzzy cloth, give it a time or two extra. And that way you can make sure that your transfer is going to come up and your design stays down. All right. Now we can also do with this one, there's some welcomes that Chocotore has. I know I have some, I, I thought about doing that, but the hello is just different and it's nice. I really like it. So we're gonna do the hello. And I know that my sister likes it too. All right, so we're just working our bright white paste into the screen. Now, if you're new to Chalk Couture, these transfers, or you may look at them and think um, stencil, but it's not, it's a transfer. And it's got a screen here that this chalk paste is going through. So there we go. Perfect. This is looking great. Now I've simplified this design, yet made it complicated. I know that's silly to say it like that, but I've kind of Simplify the center and giving us a little texture on the top and bottom. Just giving that natural wood grain, letting that pop out. And I'm pulling all the extra paste off. And let's get our transfer up. Wow. Guys, that looks so good. I love it. I absolutely love it. And she's going to love it too. So let's go ahead and dry this with our hair dryer. You can also use what's called oh, a heat gun, which I have one of those as well. Um, Chalk Couture has some. So you can order it right on through my Chalk site. And actually it is very, it's very competitive, you guys. I'm so... I'm so proud of what Chalk Couture has out there on in the catalog. I mean, really, we're very competitive against the major retailers, so to be honest with you guys. So I'm, I'm pretty thrilled. And you know what? Um, on top of that, as a designer, I actually get um, money off. So I get this stuff at an even lower price, say 40%. So um, if you want to ask questions about being a designer, I actually started for $99 and I am, um, I'm still in it and I love it. And it's, we're working on year two for me in October. Um, I'll be in it for two years. So, and it, it's fun and it's a great company to work with. And they're just very positive and very warm and um, their prices are just unbelievable, very competitive. So I'm, I'm pretty proud to be a part of it, and um, I think you will too. So if you have questions about that, you know, comment on the video. I'll be glad to reach out to you and answer any questions you have. But we're not gonna do the bow in this video today, um, just because I wanted to show you how the paste works and how this project is gonna turn out. Um, once I finish the project and do the bow and everything, I'll post that so you can check it out. I'm actually gonna let Megan do her own bow to be honest because she's much better bow maker than I am. But thanks for watching everybody. The um, the catalog is in the comments so if you want to shop around and browse. If you have any questions, comment or message me. I'll be glad to help you out with any question that you have. Until next time you guys, hopefully I'll be able to do some more of these. I'll be feeling better. Um, but thank you so much for your patience. And um, again, any questions, reach out to me. Have a great rest of your week everybody and hope to hear from you soon. Bye.